How old is she? Um, they are 15 months old. We actually use they them pronouns. We're great until they oh, tell us who they. they. Uh huh. Awesome. Well, enjoy the pride parade. Did you say fun. thank you? Thank you. We are pulling apart this idea of sex, which is related to genitals, and gender, which is related to how you move in the world. So what you wear, how you share your identity with other people, all of those things are related to gender. This is sick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! One of the things that I hate the most is when they are forcing this on their children. Oh. <laughs> you know, when you look at these people, they like to pretend as if there are 10,000 genders. But if you like, say you're an elephant, you are a goat, you are whatever, there's only two genders. Congratulations, you played yourself. What we do do is we annualise our figure to full time. So we look at all part time employees and full time employees that may have worked part of a 12 month period. And we, anal uh, and we annualise that data to take into account part-time hours. Um, and so therefore we're converting the part-time hours to full-time, if you like. So do, so do you take into account the fact that on average a male full-time employee works longer hours than a female full-time employee? N not directly, no. Gotcha. <laughs> if someone can get away with paying someone less for doing the same job, why would they hire this other person? If I do know how horrible to say that that is even the truth. No, it's nothing like a good girl. Which one of you is from the New York Times? You know there's only two genders, right? There's only two genders and they know that in Iowa. I challenge the New York Times reporter and the Washington Post reporter to try to milk a cow and then try to milk a bull and see how that goes. <laughs> Got him. We'll end with this because we're talking about womanhood. So people could probably shout out the question I'm going to ask you right now. Okay. You know that you're a woman. Yes. What is that? Uh, so gender is a social thing. It only makes sense. I don't want to hear that. What social? is a woman? What no. is a woman? What is a woman? The word, word woman, define in the dictionary, go. A woman is somebody who is included and respected and seen and participates in society, recognized by other women. If you speak with women... Circular definition. That's my whatever. Okay, all right. Can you imagine that you claim that you're a woman, yet you don't even know the meaning of a woman? This is crazy. Up to now. We need to respect women, period. So you should respect women. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, I am a woman. It is male. So fuck you if you don't think Sir. so. I don't really have time I, for this. I, and I don't have time. My no, mistake. You're going to let me speak because uh, here is my truth. I've been four times. I've known women that have been multiple times gruesomely. And how dare you sit up here and try to say that women aren't worth respect. I didn't say that. I am a woman. I just became a woman. It's just like, are you fucking kidding me? People don't even respect me, period. And I'm, I mean, I'm already black, so it's just like, uh, yeah, that already goes against me anyways. But still, my, you, my, you, you piece can... of living garbage ass dumpster fire trash gum on the bottom of my shoe. Oh my god, I wish I had a tissue for the blood. I would. Sure. Uh. Might I suggest it's your behavior, not because you're black or a woman. This is crazy. A so called woman. Is that womanly? To just insult a guy, call him all manner of names. Plus, one of the things I find that these guys are doing is that they are using the so-called woman as a costume. That's why when they claim to be a woman, the first thing they do is that it's not that I just identify as a woman. No, they start to wear the costume, start to wear hair, they start to wear makeup. If woman is just how you feel on it, and those things wouldn't matter. But uh, I guess you know, you know, the Bible says they know in their heart, but they choose their own way. They need help. Stop it. Get some help. Go ahead, Katie. So yesterday, a lady that was involved in a car crash actually linked to one of my circle of friends. She died because an ambulance couldn't get through because your protesters, Just Stop Oil, were blocking the road and the ambulance couldn't get through in time. She couldn't get the help she needed and she died. 
earlier you said that you are a peaceful protesters. My friend is dead. How do you answer that? We have a blue light policy. Um, which means whenever we have roadblocks, as soon as we um, hear sirens, we see the blue lights, people move out of the way. Even when people are gluing in the road, there's always one lane that is kept um, clear so that people can move out of the way. And we have never had any complaints from either ambulances, fire brigade or any other emergency services. The, to video, us the video footage exists and the lady can't complain now because she's dead. Let me ask you another question, Phoebe. Uh, let me ask you, what bills do you currently pay? Who pays for your accommodation at university? My student loan. Well, have you ever paid any bills in your lifetime? No. So you don't know what it's like to be a homeowner and not to be able to afford your energy bills and then see some stupid young people throwing soup over a painting in a gallery that has nothing to do with the fact they can't afford to pay their bills. You don't know what it's like to pay a bill, Phoebe, do you? No, but I have empathy for those people. What do you understand about an ordinary family who can't afford to pay their fuel bills, who needs ordinary fuel to be delivered, but because of green taxation, their bills are now so expensive they can't afford them? And if we stop oil, how much more expensive do you think fuel is going to be, Phoebe? Or is it that you're just spouting out words that you and your friend think look good? How is it related to stopping oil to throw soup over a painting in a gallery. How is that related? How is it helping the poorest people in my country? This is a clear sign of how these people behave. It is usually a selfish behavior. Now, I understand you're trying to change the uh, change the world for better, but going about it this way is, is, is horribly wrong. They are looking for attention. They are looking for, for validation. And he asked her about the lady that something like this happened and she was like, eh, doesn't matter. Ask her, okay, have you ever had a bill paid? She said, no, she has never had. So you see, it is privileged people. Privileged people usually are the ones that have time for this kind of things.